Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Today I'm going to explain a setting that will really affect your automation recording, especially with sends. So first some backstory, how I ended up finding this problem. I like to use a technique called delay throws where you take, let's say a vocal and you automate up the send volume into a delay and then uh, you get just delay on certain words, that sort of thing. One of the issues I was running into is that I didn't want to automate the silence. I didn't want to turn down, like have a, a kind of a steady send level and then turn down the parts where I don't want automated, I want to turn up. And in Reaper, we can choose our default send level. So if I had it default to minus infinity, no matter how much gain I added at the send, it would just never produce a sound on the delay throw. So I thought it was a bug, and only just in the past weekend, I figured out what setting it is that affects that. So let's just do a demo of what that situation would be. In Reaper Preferences, under Automation, we've got this option. When adding volume pan envelopes, apply trim to envelope and reset trim. I have had this set to never for pretty much as long as I can remember. There's another option here called always and in read write. So if I have this on never and I go to my track send defaults and I have my send default gain at minus infinity, this is where the issue will happen. Got a track here with a click. You can hear it. Just a basic click source. I'm going to add in a new track. I'm going to add in an effect. So I'll just put in a delay. So I'll do Echo Boy Jr. It's a real nice delay. And I'll just uh, set the wet, wet mix up. If I create a send by dragging the routing button from the first track to the second track, it defaults at minus infinity. And if I play this back and turn up the send, I do get a sound. Let's see what happens when we automate that send. So I'm gonna close this window, right click on my, where it says read, go to send envelopes, send volume. And you see, instead of my send level starting at minus infinity, it's now at zero because of that preference set to never. So now my send level is at zero. If I play it back, there's nothing. And I can turn it up all the way. And I still don't get any signal coming through that send. I've got it send at plus 12, but it's only plus 12 above infinity. So it's just not going to create a sound no matter what. I'm going to delete this send. Let's just change that so that it is sending some level. And uh, kind of this is how I used to have it set. So go to track send defaults. And so, okay, so I can't have it at minus infinity. Let's have it at minus 12 and apply and close. And now if I make a send, drag and drop, my send starts at minus 12. And if I play back, it creates a, a sound. If I automate this and press play, it's still sending out, uh, but you can see here, my envelope starts at zero instead of minus 12. And for me, that became kind of confusing as well. So you would think that your send level should be the same as your envelope. And so that's what that preference does. And let's change that. So um, we're gonna set this to minus infinity. Uh, anything past minus 99 is going to change to infinity, but you can just type in infinity there. And we're gonna go to automation. We're gonna switch this to always. And this preference here, does apply to volume and pan envelopes. So it's not only going to affect the send envelopes, it, it will be the track volume as well. So if I set this to, I'll just type in minus six here in the uh, track volume. And if I show my volume, it defaults to minus six. I think that makes sense. It's a little weird here where this, this knob is not kind of set the same way, it looks opposite but it is doing that correctly. So once again, we're going to create a send and it's starting at minus infinity 
and I'll automate this send volume. There we go, our envelope is at minus infinity. And if I just drag this up to, let's say, minus two, at this point, it's going to start increasing the send level and we will get a signal. So that preference needs to be set if you want to do delay throws where you're starting from whatever your send level was to begin with and you're raising it for certain words, phrases, sections of the song. If you have your default set at minus infinity, it's never going to work when you have that preference set to never. Now, if you do like the preference the other way where you have it set on never, you have to do your send automation in reverse. You have to automate down the parts that you don't want to hear rather than automate up the parts you do want to hear the delay on. So that's it for the tutorial. Kind of an advanced topic, kind of maybe even an edge case. And maybe this is something that they'll fix in the future. It would be really great to just have either one of those settings and be able to create a send that you know defaults to the correct level and you know doesn't have that bug where it just no matter how much gain you add, it's never going to uh, output something. You could set that to minus 99. Your envelope still only goes to plus 12. You're not going to get any sort of usable signal out of that. So kind of a frustrating thing that I've been dealing with for years, probably. That's the solution. And I wanted to share that info with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.